hello you're welcome back to our channel today um i'm so happy to be here it's been a while for me for me yes um i'm so happy i'm so happy to be here you're welcome back if you've not subscribed please do subscribe if you have already subscribed thank you we love you so i'm here all by myself here yeah, your girl all by myself to do our thing just me and you brother bunaya poke is not here so he's only his sister Okay, that is available now so um you're welcome and then uh, this is a month of love february uh on sunday is valentine's day aha i'm so happy as you can see my lips red i love red i love red anything about love oh god i love do my favorite color is real blue and silver too but i'm thinking of adding red to it will you this pepper red too no red is a rare color and i'm a rare yeah. gear <laughs> all right on Sunday's valentine's day i'm so excited i'm so happy and i just want to say little things about valentine and debunk some kind of um fake things or or lies we've heard about valentine's day and um let me start by saying uh, when i was a little bit younger um my dad never liked anything concerning valentine's day no he never liked it so on a valentine's day we don't go out i don't mean go out to dress and go out no oh ah in our house dress and go out ha bow he hey who gave you that kind of effortry you the only time you dress and go out is church school that's the end dress and go out how oh that's how i trained our father was a disciplinarian so on such days like that he doesn't allow us go out and on our street then we, we used to live in a street where we had bars so days like valentine's day you see nasty things on the road so i guess that's why my dad never allowed us to leave the house because he had this thing about valentine's day that um nasty things go on you know dirty things go on so he, he then according to his own level of understanding he didn't want his girls to be spoiled you know he didn't want his boy to you know spoiled and all that so that's that now this is the notion people have about valentine's Day. you won't blame them because that's exactly what happens but i don't think that's the original reason for valentine valentine's story the summary of valentine's story is sacrifice giving sacrifice basically that's it but this at this point we've 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 squeezed out the truth out of valentine's day and we've allowed the enemy to fill our heart with terrible things that are not really what the essence of valentine's day portrays that's why people people don't really they are not really interested but valentine's day is a day of love yes we celebrate day uh, every day every day in a year is a day of love but this is a particular day that you know they've named according to named after somebody saint valentine who laid down his life and all that so i celebrate love i celebrate valentine's day so but how you know how how do we celebrate valentine's day in the world where we live today there are so many confusions social media so you know at some point i, I said god should i shut down so many things are going on people are confused they don't know which one to take which one to do they don't know which one to listen to you know twitter is saying something else facebook is saying something else instagram people on instagram are doing something else so the youth of these days are confused and love is not an exception people are confused on what love is so here is someone telling you if you don't love me eh, 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 if you love me you sleep with me and a young lady saying okay okay love is sex okay you know and here is someone telling as saying to you too if you don't love me if you love me you will go out with me and all that and all that and all that that's the confusion but here i want to say love is not sex love has never been sex and love will never be sex I'm very emphatic on this because I'm so mad when people do the things they do in the name of love. Love is sacrifice. Love is selfless. So if you're coming to me and you're telling me I don't love you because I don't sleep with you, get out. Go. That's not love. That's not love. If you love me enough, you wait for me. 
the standard is no sex before marriage. You know, as a young lady, you sound that. You know, I always say, some of us portray this attitude of stop it, I like it. Do you know what stop it, I like it means? Um, I don't want it, but, 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 you know, but, you know, you're giving green light and you're still saying you're a believer. Eh? You, you, uh, okay, Valentine's on Sunday. You know this particular guy or this particular lady that have been asking you to do something that is outside God's will. And you're still fixing a date with him. Someone said, if you want to eat with the devil, eat with the long folk. But me, I'm saying, don't even eat with the devil. Because that long folk can turn to short folk. Yes. Or folk or folk, anyone. <laughs> so, I'm saying, don't even eat with him. Don't sit on the same table with him. Because you don't know anything can happen. The Bible says, faith comes by hearing. Hearing the word of God. Doubt too. Other orish rishi nonsense comes by hearing too. So when we stay, you know, in the midst of some kind of things and we say it doesn't matter, you know, that guy has been asking you out, you know he really wants you to sleep with him. And he asks you specially on Valentine's Day. And you're like, nothing, or just celebrating love. Baby girl, get out of that, you know, confusion and have sense. Receive sense. Love is not sex. So as we go out to celebrate, have that at the back. No, not back. You'll forget it. Have it at the front of your mind that love is not sex. Love is all about sacrifice. And love never came from the devil. Nobody defines love. Only God. That's the person that created love. For crying out loud, you didn't create love. The devil did not. That your boyfriend did not. I didn't. So love is not sex. Don't let anybody fool you. Don't let anybody cajole you. Don't let anybody deceive you. Because you know one thing about sex? You will always regret it. Yes. You will always regret it. So don't do what you cannot finish. The Bible says, Can a man carry fire in his bosom without being burnt? You will be burnt. When you start it like this, now, so you go, they go, and the more you go, the more you lose your soul. The more you notice that, man, you're parting away with your soul, you can't think anymore. So, when we talk about sex like this, we're not talking because we don't want you to enjoy yourself. There's a way to enjoy yourself. Eh? Do you know it's sweeter when somebody gives you a gift that you. Be patient. Go home and open it down for you to be opening small, small on the road. It's yours. There's nobody on earth that is uh, 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 prohibited from having sex. Nobody. Except the eunuchs. Except you want to be a eunuch. Oh. There's nobody. So it's yours. It's your inheritance. So you have to wait. It's sweeter when you wait. You know when you know you have been waiting and it comes. Man. You know that. Yeah. I've waited. I have to eat it. All round, all round. Oh, buddy, you're not, you're not having sex and you're scared. You know, you're in secret, you're scared. Who is watching me, who is not watching me? It's stressful to do that. So why not wait? So this Valentine's Day is on a Sunday. Go to church, you know. Find a church. Almost all churches are doing a program. A Bible-believing church. Not the one that will tell you. You can go up with no, 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 no. I mean a Bible-believing church. Find one. Go. And bask in the love of God if you're single. If you're married, focus on your spouse. Take your spouse out. Forget about that side chick. You know, the more you keep going out with that side chick, guy, your soul is going. And hey, woman, the more you keep going out with that side, what now? What do I call it? Side hen or side fowl. The more you lose your soul. So please, love is not sex. Let's celebrate Valentine the right way. And if you don't have convictions about celebrating Valentine, beautiful, stay at home. But don't sleep around and say love is everyday something. You're deceiving yourself. So that's that's my point today. You know, I love you. Okay.
I love you. I love you so much. Don't buy me. I was being so serious. Why I'm serious is because it's something that's eating deep into our system and it's very bad. So let's not allow the devil deceive us. So if you know going out with that guy <laughs> doesn't go well with your conscience, end the date right now. Call him. I'm not doing it again. I'm not doing it again. God bless you. And um, yes, I'll make another video on Valentine's Day. I've got plans, baby. Uh -huh. I've got plans. I love love. So I've got plans for that day. So I'm going to make a maybe light video on Valentine's Day. God bless you. I love you. So much kisses for me and my husband. We'll see. Later.